If you're ready to do math today and you have your coffee ready, join me in the simultaneous sip. The question we're working on today is, a study in Norway compared skiers and snowboarders who suffered head injuries with a control group who were not injured. Of 578 injured subjects, 96 had worn a helmet. Of the 2,992 in the control group, 656 wore a helmet. A. Is helmet use less common among skiers and snowboarders who have head injuries? B. Find a 95% confidence interval for the difference in the proportions. Smash that like button and let's get started. So let's let population one be the injured people and population two will be those who are not injured. And we want to see, we want to compare the proportion of helmet use between these two populations. So we'll let N1, we could see from the question, is 578. P1 hat is the number of helmet wearers which is 96 divided by the number of injured people, 578, which works out to be 0 0.1661. And two, again from the question, is 2,992. And P2 is the number of helmet wearers, which is 656 divided by the number of people that were not injured. 2,992, which works out to be 0.2193. The pooled proportion, p hat, is the number of people who wore a helmet, which is 96 plus 656, divided by the total number of people, which is n1 plus n2, or 578, plus 2,992. And this works out to be 0 0.2106. Okay, so for part A, we want to do a significance test. The null hypothesis is that the two proportions are equal. P1 is equal to P2. Our alternate hypothesis is that injured people are less likely to wear a helmet. P1 is less than P2. So we're going to have a, a left tail is what the area we're going to have to find is to find our probability. So we need to compute the Z statistic. And looking back in our notes, we know that Z is P1 hat minus P2 hat over the square root of P hat 1 minus p hat times 1 over n1 plus 1 over n2. Plugging this into a calculator, we get z is equal to negative 2.8717. So we could find the area to the left of that value using Minitab. So we'll go to probability, distribution plot, display probability, we have a normal distribution. Here are a specific x value with the left tail, and x is equal to our z statistic we just found, negative 2.8717. We hit OK, and there is our probability. So we see that p is equal to 0 0.002. This value is smaller than 0 0.05. So since p is less than 0 0.05, this is good evidence. This is good evidence in support of our alternate hypothesis, which is that injured people wear helmets less frequently 
than non-injured people. Part B, we're asked to find a 95% confidence interval. So we need Z star. So looking at a table, we see that Z star is equal to 1.960. And we know the confidence interval for P1 minus P2 is P1 hat minus P2 hat plus or minus Z star times, now we got another nasty looking square root, square root of P1 hat, one minus P1 hat over N1 plus P2 hat, one minus P2 hat over N2. And again, we could just, we know all these values. So we just type it into a calculator and find the value. And when we do that, we get our interval is negative 0 0.087 to negative 0 0.0194. What this is saying is we are 95% certain that the proportion of people who wore helmets amongst the injured population is between 0 0.0194 and 0 0.0870 less than the proportion of people who wore helmets among the non-injured population. Make sure to subscribe for more Coffee and Math with Dr. Wesselcouch. Don't text and drive. Bye-bye.